This is a horror game podcast. It is meant for mature audiences. It may contain shocking revelations, violence, and sexual themes. Viewer discretion is advised. fellow investigators and welcome back to our video podcast into the darkness where my friends and i are playing the delta green role-playing game i'm your host tom Rayleigh. the scenario is entitled the end of the world of the end it was written by dennis detweiler and it's part of impossible landscapes it's available from arc dream publishing our handler is nathan decker and this is now episode seven episode nine our recap will be given by Morgan Llewellyn as his character, Nancy Barnes. So without any further delay, let's continue our journey into the darkness. Morgan? Bottles. Bottles. Ship in a bottle. Whispered truths in a bottle. A maze of bottles in a bottle. Little mice Little puppets, little agents scurrying, crying in the dark. They step away and disappear. They step away and disappear again, surprised each time. Goldfish memories. <laughs> Goldfish in a bottle. Shattered bottle. Weep, oh, Castain. I have indeed deprived you of your truth, and I shed not a tear. You must produce enough for both of us. Just stand there like that. Just like that. Forever. <laughs> Book. Bottle. A right and a left, and a left and a right. Or was it a right and a right, then a left and through? A rope tied around anything except your neck fails to hold. So many books read, and this simple principle slips through his fingers like poorly tied knots. Abby through the vents. The past and present, both equally illusions. The future is a sick joke that we insist on telling ourselves. <laughs> Voltus, you have the truth now. Knowledge without action is nothing but endless masturbatory waste. Like proof rock, you hold the universe in your hands and you still wonder whether you should take a bite. Ice nine. I cannot wait to see you shattered. Spinning bottle. Gray and Diana, two pleadlings in a pod. Particle board is made when the shavings are pressed after they've been through the chipper. Or in this case, the clown. Wild had more glue than all the king's horses and all the king's men had for Humpty Dumpty. Or was it that he had more patience? Or more mania? <laughs> the imperial dynasty of America. <laughs> round and round, blinking in and out, Gray and Diana. One mind in a brain is more than most can bear. Two, <laughs> it's just asking to put a first hop. When the Melonia runs out, what then, Gray? What then, Diana? What then? Who cares, Bottle? Ice picks do not stop you from constantly picking up or picking at the pieces of your pathetic life. Asa's on the radio, on the TV, in your bottle. You spend so much time telling yourself that he cannot live while you breathe. <laughs> You're sure you'll get him, but without ever considering that you may have no existence without him. Consider this. There is no longer Asa. Who is Dent now? Hmm. I think he is now what he has always been. No one worth anything. So keep clinging to Donley's coattails. 
keep talking to your demons. <laughs> I'll be sure to greet your daughter with a smile full of teeth when she joins me in the land of the dead. Static bottle. Always playing your part. Except you forget the most important lines. I can't hear you, Donnelly. Say them. Say them with me. Active. Your father drips with the blood of those he has killed behind the mask. No mask. <laughs> no mask. Static. All the things are the same, always and forever. You are always and forever drowning in that bathtub, little boy. So far from home. Sleep now beneath the sea behind the mirror. Active. Static. Active. Static. Just think of all the dead children. An MFA student walks home alone at night. <laughs> what a blast! <laughs> Active static. Corpses are clogging the drain pipes. Standing water, drowning room only. Dive in, little boy. Active static. The ants come marching one by one, two by two, legion by legion, forever. Activate active static protocol. <laughs> father's bottle. Author is such a strange way to spell father. A strange way to spell Liam. The one who hates him most carries the golden vessel. Fitting. All the more pleasurable when I pluck it from the corpse rot to give it to him. The cherubs attend the masquerade for want of teeth. Mashing gum mouths are, after all, still ravenous. Hunger lives on no matter what one does. Desire is unceasing, the void returning again and again and again and again until active static, until the bottle, until the king arrives. Bottles, bottles, ship in a bottle, Carcosa in a bottle, enter stage wall. <laughs> Very nice. And it is through this wall that Dent and I believe Donley have broken through with their pickaxes. And they have seen this vista of a long dead city. The ruins are difficult to place, but alien, but French, but American, but it's all mixed up and mashed. And there's bullet holes and bomb casings. And the only real break is in the distance where you can see the lake sitting there very placid but it you're looking at the lake for a moment and something twitches near the edge of your eye when you look the city's different you're sure of it and while you're watching it you feel like someone something is watching you so i want to know Let's say Dent and Donnelly, you're probably the first ones through. How are you feeling as you're here? I'm tired, but I'm, I'm <laughs> resolute. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm with you on that. I think I'm just exhausted mentally, physically. Um, but we've got a plan. We've been following Abigail's notes. And this is the next part. The city, the lake, the shadow, the battle. This right. is it. Let's You're bothering uh, me, Donnelly. Yeah. We're going <laughs> to see this through. We're in for it. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know if we'll ever get back, but. And even if we do get back, Donnelly, what awaits us? We're already burned by Delta Green. I think our best bet is for one of us to take the throne or become the author and rewrite the world how we see fit. I'd love to set it back to what it was before Yeah, the night floors, you know, before we got not to that. A world that without damn, yeah. this madness. You want to shake on it? If either I of will. us get there, we're going to, we're going to set things right. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll shake yes. on it then. Nice. 
Uh, we'll say, Gray, you're following after them. You're seeing those black stars in the sky maybe a little bit more than they do. You've had visions of this place before when you've had a particularly good trip. How are you feeling now that you're um, here? Well, she's, well, I'm, I'm feeling really tired. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just checking, uh, looking at the pocket watch for comfort. But then again, time is irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm afraid what's at the end of this, especially what uh, I've learned about myself. Um, am I really a remnant of a person? Am I just some monster of some Dr. Frankenstein who is also Mr. Wild? Uh, I just want to go to bed. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Uh, Boltus, we'll leave Nancy for last since Nancy dro is dropping sweet diss tracks on people. <laughs> uh, well, as I yeah. as I step through, uh, I'm I'm as excited now as I was when I first went to Paris. Um, I want to see what's here. Uh, it's unexpected. Uh, I've never experienced anything quite like this, so I'm I'm almost giddy uh, with uh, my my mind is racing. I am looking around at the skyline, and I am memorizing the location of towers and things like that that I might see in the strange constellations in the sky. Yeah, the uh, looking at the towers, that is frustrating. And do make a sanity check because you are trying to focus. You see a, a tower that's bombed out in an interesting fashion, but when you look back, it's not it's different. where it should be. Yeah, yeah, I got a 14, so I'm, okay. I'm cool. Yeah, uh, it's fine. So I immediately assume it's a, an optical illusion of some sort. Uh, I notice the black stars, and I wonder how this light effect can be happening. Do I see, am I lit up? Do I see light on my skin? No, there's definitely, it is a very strange effect, because when you look, it's like that, uh, I forget what they call it, but like the darkest black you can get where it stands out against yeah. any light. Yeah. And... You can look down, but you're still in like uh, a little bit of moonlight. You can see there's a couple of moons in the sky that they're giving off, but no, it's but we're not, not like, like a black negatives. Light. Mm -mm. Very strange, very interesting. And um, Nancy, how are you feeling? Everything is as it should be. The script is unfolding as the author has written it. It feels triumphant, it feels electric, it feels... It's like I'm on the edge. There's a deep nothingness everywhere here. It's like you're falling, always falling. Wonderful. <laughs> Exhilarating. So you've all stepped through, and when you look back, maybe glancing at this tunnel it's just a wall now and you can see it's not even that long of a wall before it collapses off to either side there's very clearly no tunnel on it from this side you are just in the city proper what do you guys do well i'm heading straight forward to see what what's around the corner mm -hmm. you can go up, kind of go around a building side, and you were, let's say you were headed towards the lake, and when you turn, you see that the street goes for a little bit, and maybe you take a couple steps down it just to kind of see, and like a mirage, the city shimmers, and the lake is in front of you again. Okay. You can see it's about four blocks away at this point, you'd like just a stuff in between you and it now is it possible 
to navigate by the stars or are they shifting too? They do seem to shift, yeah. Uh, well, then I don't think it matters what direction we go. But we should stick together. If we separate, we'll be lost, I'm sure. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, but, Moltis, did you have an invitation? Yes, I do. Does it say um, anything? Well, yeah. It uh, uh, it says... Uh, I'll have to pull it up. It's something along the lines of an invitation to right. a masquerade. Uh, an invitation to a masquerade at the palace. Uh, it's a golden ticket, like uh, like in the Royal Doll stories. And uh, Abigail scratched a note at the bottom and said she didn't forget about me. So, so let's find the palace. <clears throat> let's go towards the palace. Well, the thing is, is that the palace, I imagine, is right in the dead center. Only you can't seem to just get to the dead center because every time you make a move, the, it's all non-Euclidean geometry. <laughs> I think we just really want to go to the palace. I think that's just... Maybe that's the key. You want to go there, you get there. Or you maybe just wander chaotically and you end up there Going... automatically. Right. Hmm. The more was, chaotic, I mean, the it's 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 adorable that you think that the universe has any care about catering to your wants. Who knows? It's this cute. Could all be, I could be well, lost maybe this in a universe pad of does. Is all. <laughs> what do you mean, this universe? Maybe this universe does cater to our wants because that's exactly what happened on the night floors. There is I, only one universe. I uh, I can try and. Whitworth's walking from behind one of these rubble walls and he seems calm here more at peace than you've seen him before he seemed kind of anxious in the uh the bridal bin but here there's like a kind of melancholy I I I can try but I we need to go to the lake I think Yes. Yeah, let, let's go to the lake. We need to find the lake. Again, it's Shadow and the battle. Hmm. What word are you? The lake Shadow? Is feeling? that like... I'm feeling fine. I, uh, I, I just want to want to get to the, the ball. Do you have an invitation too? Um... I think they'll recognize me when I get there. You been there? You been to the palace? Not yet. But you know you. You're destined they'll, to be there. They'll know me there. Uh, yes. Well, this lead place. The way. Yes. Well. Could I actually look at the lake's reflection? Uh, yeah, you're gonna need to get a little closer okay, to it to do it. But yeah, the lake's <laughs> shadow seems like a reflection. Yeah, and let's say as you kind of follow Whitwer or yourself is, it's quite easy to get to the lake. In fact, you trying to go other ways kind of shifts in front of you, and you do find this like black, completely still water. The uh lake shore has just these uh, small black stones all around it. And there are a number of kind of large wooden ancient boats that are just littered along the uh, the edge of this. They all have like little animals at the front uh, kind of showing off like these boats. Um, but yeah, Dent, you go up and you look into the water and... You look down and you see these little pinpoints of light <laughs> underneath. Uh, can you make an int times five roll? Uh, 17. Pass. Okay. You look down and then you look back at the city and you realize that you are seeing much like the cardboard uh, 
model that you saw at the San Magina household, there is another city below the lake, maybe about 50 meters down or so. And it is lit up with lights and is a mirror of where you are at this very moment. So you're saying the reflection is lit up with lights and the actual Uh, thing above it's, the lake is not? it's less a reflection, <laughs> which is kind of confusing. Like it's not, uh, if you think of this as the city and there's like the, the buildings poking mm -hmm. up, it's this is way down here and the buildings are poking up. It's, it's not, not a reflection exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so we're looking down from like where the clouds are for a normal city. Yeah, exactly. So You're looking through the... the shadow of this being cast. Yeah. How do we... So we're going to have to get down there, right? Sounds Somehow. logical. The boats? Well, boats float. In this world? <laughs> I don't know. And can we just walk into they the lake? Down? If you can breathe do, underwater. Do you try that? I'm... Gray's going to do it. Like... Just okay. walk down to see if logic applies to this. As you, yeah, you kind of walk down and your legs touch the water. You're mm -hmm. walking, there's like a bit of a shallow portion that you're walking into. As your feet touch it, the whole lake from where you touch it starts to ripple outwards and turn to fog. Oh. And like a, a just like this low haze and you can watch it in a wave as it overtakes the entirety of the lake. Like you said, clouds. Yeah, cloud in gray, for your break. perspective, yeah, you're you're stepping in it, and you can feel just the fog moving through you. It's no resistance at all. Oh, um, she's going to keep moving forward. It still feels like there's ground under the under your feet, though. Make a dexterity check, Agent Gray. Okay. Ooh, it's 88. It's a fail. Okay. Oh, no, fumble. Um, That's fine. Gray, you take a step and mm -hmm. you feel your foot kind of go out under you as you start to slide and... In 88, it's pretty bad. You slide off this precipice. And what do you shout as you're falling? I... <laughs> what would she or do shout? You say, or do you say anything? Yeah, I, I think she's just shocked that this happened. So I think they just see her, like, slip into into the darkness even. Just... Yeah. Can... Just silence. Yeah, I don't know I how close I am. Fell. Could I dive to maybe? Uh, yeah, you can make a yeah, you can make a dex check to try and get a hold of her. It's an eighteen. Okay. So uh, Gray, we'll say you have like a a coat sleeve or something. That, uh, Donley is able. You're able to get a hold of it the last second, and yeah, Gray, you are looking down now through the clouds dangling by your arm and yeah it's about 50 meters down to the city you're looking out of some clouds you can kind of see the ring that the uh the lake is at this level and you see things like whales and other more strange creatures just flitting around below you in the sky um i need you to make a sanity check as you're seeing this uh yep. and yeah That's donley fine. you you have enough strength to you where you can okay yeah, i'll just turn game. i've got her i've got her it's o2 i i pass okay. up with an o2 yeah i'm gonna then help donley is like grab onto donley as well uh, uh, i think go. we should score this performance i think an 8.5 out of 10 what do you think Voltus? i i'm getting into one of the boats i think we should tap Toss Nancy in the middle of it <laughs> and see if she goes. <laughs> and uh, but, th yeah, thanks, guys. Boat. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. I think the boats might be our. How many people per boat? Uh, it, it, quite a few. Um, okay. some of the bigger ones you think could fit like twenty people. Some of the smaller ones would be like one or two. Like there's a boat. there's a mix. Yeah, there's like rowboats there. But you say that none of them have sails. <laughs> 
None of them have paddles or oh. till like there's nothing on them that makes you think, oh, I'd have any control over this once it's in the water. All right. There's some kind of trick to this then. But uh, yeah, uh, Voltus, if you just climb onto one on shore, you are struck with this feeling like, yeah, yeah, this feels right. So go ahead and roll the D4. I was going to push it to the edge and then okay, uh, sit in it. I just like this mental image of you sitting on the, the shore and feeling like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you regain one sanity. Um, is Yeah, you will start to kind of feel the boat go out it's and going. it's on the mist. You, you're doing fine. Okay. Does anybody have a handkerchief? Give Voltus uh, a proper oh, send off. Yeah. <laughs> Voltus is going boats. by himself. Yeah, let's grab a I, boat. I got a. I just got a two man rowboat, or a one man rowboat. I'll I'll take a two man rowboat. I'll go with Don, <laughs> just like our fishing trip in 08. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know how that ended. <laughs> Drunk and if, hungry. If, po- <laughs> if possible, if Gray can get like a. A boat just fit enough for one person. She's going to push herself from the shore and just lay down on her back, so it can she can just look up at the black stars. She's tired. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Nancy Whitwer kind of looks at you. Of uh, do you do you have a preference? I think that one, and the one that can fit twenty people. Okay. Yeah, and he just goes over and uh, starts to push it towards the water. Such a gentleman. Of course. I'll get him when it's when he's done all the all the pushing. Yeah, and if you even like attempt to help, you see it's not as impressive as he makes it look. These things are light, like they push without that much effort. And uh you're all a- able to hop into boats uh on here by my count uh four boats. One, two, three, four. Yep. Four boats floating on this fog lake uh, and everybody that got in a boat go ahead and roll a d4 and regain that much sanity just one just one sad hey surprise surprise Nancy has the the worst possible rolls <laughs> with sanity so one you and me both oh my god They got three. She's Gray's doing all right so far. And you are basically rocking out on this fog and Whitwer. Like you're all close enough that you can still talk to each other. And Whitwer's just like, um, so what? What do you mean? Whatever. Uh what do we do? Do we just uh, will it down? Uh, maybe. Yeah, just... All right, think okay. real hard. <laughs> maybe and... mimic, mimic paddling. Maybe you should click and, your, uh, your ruby shoes go. together, Dent, and just go back home. Yeah, uh, okay. I mean, Dent, or <laughs> Donley, Donley, you just <laughs> literally said, do we just tell it to go? Yeah. And make a sanity check as the boat starts to tool around the water. I, I didn't pass that. <laughs> okay, it's just one. As you yeah. realize that, yes, well, it is literally well. that easy. You just tell the boat to go. Oh, it does work. Yeah, yeah, just, I mean... So, it makes it easier for me. <laughs> go? <laughs> yeah, just, just go. Is it going, well, like, at an angle under the water now? It's not at the moment. You just told it no. to go. I'll say specifically take me to the palace. Yeah. Okay. Then that case, you can see Voltus's boat just dip into the fog. And um, okay. does uh, yeah, does Gray? Are you waiting for Gray, screams? What are you feeling? I think Gray will say, "Take me to the <laughs> author." Whoa! Okay. Oh, yeah, that's what Gray. Super yeah, Bowl. She's gonna. I like it. Well, Donnelly, yeah. if you're piloting, I'm going to have my gun drawn. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's on the long side. Um, yeah, Alice. Okay. This is more and more like the fishing trip. <laughs> Got gun. 
Uh, and Nancy, you are the last one up. Now that I'm alone with Whitwer. Mm -hmm. The palace. Mm -hmm. Is it beautiful? Uh, yes, of it it is. Um it's uh it's unfortunate that it's embroiled in the events that it is. Mm. And he kind of gestures around the city. It's uh a fine line to be stuck between destroyed and in its prime. It's uh a thing of beauty yet destroyed at the same time. That the same could be said for any of us. Poetic. You've wandered, it seems to me, for an awfully long time. I think it's important to wander. I you needed to find here. Ophelia again. Ophelia. Mm -hmm. You think that she'll be here? I mean, she invited you, I suppose. Waiting. She'll be here. She has to be. We the king can't be. take his seat without his phantom, after all. That is true. That is true. What do you think of those four? Uh, oh, um... I think they're good people, and I think they serve well. I think I'll Be use careful. them. careful. The most faithful appearing servants can be hiding daggers under their cloaks. I'll serve in their own way. <laughs> well... Shall we away? After you. Let us go down. All right. And the large ship as well dips below these clouds. And you, you see some very interesting creatures floating among these clouds as you are descending. You can see the city below you getting closer as these ships go down and there are these large like whale type creatures and then these strange like horse sized shifting kind of things that are floating behind the whales and one of them kind of swims up towards gray and then away in a in a flash it's just kind of this feeling of scales and smoke and just movement but they're strangely comforting in a way. And it isn't too long before the ships set down inside the city. And you can hear Whitwer just in the back. Ah, uh, feel in its glory. And around you it, now the city is not thriving in a way that there are people on the streets, but it is in perfect condition. You can see these cobblestone streets, uh, wooden shutters are still surviving, uh, iron railings everywhere. And now uh, everybody make a sanity roll because that little bit of wavering in the distance that was in that burnt out city, it is difficult to look for very long at the city. Uh, success is one, failure is a d6. Okay, so I just just so people know how funny this is, I rolled one point back on sanity, which brought me up to a 36, <laughs> and okay. I just rolled a 37. So I just want to unlucky, just just want to throw that tidbit <laughs> just out oof, there. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I lost a uh, five, so that would be from four. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, does anybody wish to project while they're 
working here. The Barnes family doesn't believe in projection. That makes sense. What do you mean project? Uh, onto a bond where you lose oh, some willpower oh, and some bond oh, points. Yeah. I only have one willpower left. <laughs> do you want to project? You can still project. Uh, sure. Why not? I'll just roll E4. Ah, I only lose like that's one out of five. Okay. So, so, so... yeah. Who do I? I guess I'll put on my on my husband. That that's fine. That makes sense. Yeah, and yeah, that would be. She's okay. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. And we'll say you were kind of like laying. You said you were laying down in this boat. Yeah. So as Agent Diana sits up out of that. How do the oh. other, like, you see this form of Agent Diana. She's dressed as in those light blue clothes that the Dorchester house had. Um, a couple of you have no frame of context for this woman at all. That, Dinta no. Donnelly, yeah, how are you Is feeling? Is that Diana? Yeah. Uh, the hell? Oh, Hi. Where, where have I been? What am I doing here? The, it, it, check her eyes. It's it's great to see you. What's what's been going on? Like, where is this? Why do I have? What's and she's trying to check her pockets. That's why do I have all these? Why these? Yeah. These narcotics. Where are these? I, yeah, and you're I, pulling I, it out. It is like. All the stuff that Agent Gray had is now just in your pockets. So you have vials and just random seed pods. We thought the clown got you. Yeah. <laughs> the clown. Oh, God. Don't, don't remind they, me of that fucking clown. The fuse bottle spins round and round. I just want to check her out, see if she got drained a little. Also, is she real? Yeah. So I'm going <laughs> to. Yeah. I know yeah, what they did to me, yeah. so. <laughs> yes, the bruise is apparent, um, but do give a like a first aid, a, a medicine of some kind check. No, no, no. Um, she looks uh, as well as she's talking to you right now. She definitely looks uh, kind of strung out with the thing, uh, kind of what you see. Uh, maybe. Uh, she looks like she's been doing drugs for a while. Is kind of the feeling you get. Is her pulse strong? Is she uh, decently? Um, maybe not as strong as it once was, but she's still, you know, alive. Um. So who are these two? As she's looking at uh, Baltus and why do you have this girl with us? Like, who is she? We'll get you up to speed, but, you know, oh. don't listen to Nancy too much. She'll make you crazy. <laughs> I mean, who would, yeah. Don't trust never either trust of them. You got to yeah. trust both of us. <laughs> I mean, I don't trust a girl named Nancy <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> don't ever trust Nancy. It's just... Do you just, remember just anything? Do you remember um, anything you were, where you were? Yeah, Gray. Well, Gray, I mean, uh, Diana, yeah, it's starting to come back to you. But it's mm -hmm. like trying to recount a dream, right? Where you're like, yes, you were there and you were pickaxing someone's legs, which made sense at the time. But now that you're saying it, it makes no sense whatsoever. So it's difficult to tell what's real and what's not. But you do remember ah. everything. It feels like a dream, admittedly. Um, but, but I, 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 these are not mine. Like, what? Whose drugs are these? And he uh, lets. Just don't dig deep on this. Just, sure. Just go with it. <laughs> we, we've got a plan. Dent and I have a plan. We'll get through this shit. I right, still but... believe in stable identity. So fascinating. So stubborn in the face of the real. Do you believe I, I that think... you can be two people at once, Gray? Or Diana. 
Yeah, you're right, guys. I'm not going to listen uh, to her. Has any of but, us uh... just one person? <laughs> yeah. No. Is, is she taking her 20 person vote and like parking it right near <laughs> us? <and> then... <laughs> it's sailing down. Uh, so you oh, get a little Whitworth. bit of height. Yeah. Uh, um, I'll, I'll say yeah. that she's happy to see Whitwer. Like, um, she's the one who kind of. She was behind. She was like trying to help him like escape. So I think she might even give what were like a hug <laughs> out of all of this. Um, oh, yeah, it's, it's it's good to see you. I'm I'm just glad you're able to, to make it, and also goes over the other two. Um, it, it's been I feel like I've been sleeping for a while, but why are we here? We have to go to the masquerade, I believe. We are here for there's nowhere else to be. And Voltus, you've been kind of quietly observing this as you're going. You easily notice a couple things. Is that the first, there is a large bulbed tower in the distance. And it's very strange to you because it feels it's like another one of those optical illusions the mm -hmm. palace feels like you could go a block or two and be there like it's it's very close feeling right but there's also a city in the way a full-on like the city here right so it, yeah you're kind of battling with that but it does seem to glow and you can see like these uh sort of like uh, fire lights around it, illuminating it in this kind of nighttime sky. But do make a uh, uh, alertness roll. Okay, I'm trying to not try to make sense of mm -hmm. things too much. Oh, uh, what's that? A twenty twenty six. What's my alertness? That should be is probably. a twenty. Oh. So I'm no. too passively thinking. In fact, on the way down, I was I I probably donned my cloak and use it just to change the quality of my clothing, make me look more appropriate for a mm. palace. Oh, I like that. Go ahead and roll sanity just uh, from using the cloak, but I love the idea of using it to make yourself yeah. look better. <laughs> yeah, I, I passed. Yeah. So a little like something out of a painting, a Renaissance painting. Mm -hmm. Excellent. In that case, you're surprised when you see this uh, little old man kind of pop up from one of the alleys and go, oh, uh, da, 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 and he is going right towards Nancy on the boat and you just hear Nancy you made it and you reckon well Don Lee Dent and Diana you recognize Agent Dante's face it's more weathered uh, he's got a, a quite a beard going at this point and he's wearing very like workman's like clothes like uh, an apron and everything but you see his hand uh, that last you saw was in a cast. It uh, looks really rough. Like it never really healed right here. So it's uh, very tender looking with whirls of flesh. But he's, Nancy, Nancy, you made it. Thank goodness. I am here. That's uh, true. And he's trying to get onto the boat to, to get to you. I've waited for oh. so long. Yes, well, for me, it has been but moments, but time is cruel in that way, and I'll bring him <laughs> in for an embrace. Uh, and he just hugs you, and you can feel this is definitely your father. And he is openly at this point just crying. Of like, <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever see you again. That's that's the thing. If we could tell the future, I mean, <laughs> Emily Dickinson, if you were coming in a day. Oh, 
Yes, I have, I have so many things to show you. Um, so much we have to do. Uh, oh, uh, I'm. Uh, it's so good to see you three again, and uh, you two as well. Um, and he kind of waves at Voltus and Wit. We're like, uh, not not quite sure. Uh, but please, please, uh, we should go. Um, to my 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 home. Um, Certainly, we've traveled a long way. I know, I know. It was the only way to get you here, though. I'm, I'm sorry, and I'm sorry, Donnelly. Uh, the, uh, I, I, I'll admit, I have not quite perfected my works in such a way that they always um, manage social norms, shall we say? I, I really, the needle in the back of the cab was it. It's just handled poorly, and that's not me. Oh, that wasn't you? No, no. Did you not figure that out? It, it was the clockwork. Clockwork. Me. Yes. Uh, please, this way, this way. And he's kind of heading off into the city. Great. Fucked up D cell family reunion. <laughs> well, uh, so I this, follow. I mean, he looks a lot like the clockwork man before he exploded. This is your real Well, father. this one's older, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks older. Like how, but I mean, he's very older? clearly the same person. Uh, tough to tell, maybe 20, 30 years. <laughs> oh, well. This Liam Barnes in the flesh. Diana is just looking at the other two that he could she could recognize. I, I think it's father daughter time. How about that? Let's just leave that to them. Well, we should follow him. He wanted us to follow him, right? Yeah. Uh, You're welcome to wander us. this place all on your own, Diana. He's I wonder been here for a while. So, I wonder though. It's easy to get lost, especially when you're not really entirely sure who you are. I think Diana's just going to go the other way. Like, you want me to? <laughs> <laughs> She's just going straight. Okay, I mean, if, if Diana's going to separate from the group, I'm going to go with Diana. Yeah, we're going with Diana, but <laughs> we could just try it. opening a door. Is that what I'm you're going doing? to go with Nancy. Okay. Only well, because... This thing <gasps> happened, and I'm just going to go with the flow. Nice. All right. Um, in that case, let's get back as uh, Voltus and Nancy. You follow Liam, and Liam is kind of. Uh, I, I would say Nancy, you've seen him like this before. He's usually pretty calm, but when he has a project, he kind of animates a little bit more. And he's got that kind of frantic energy. So he's starting to chat about this place and all the projects he's been working on. So we'll, as you two go off one direction, uh, the rest of D-Cell, uh, again, together, and Whitwer is staying with you as well. Oh. Um, yeah, Donley, what are you doing? I am uh, doing my classic finding a door and... I think okay. we can get to the palace. Okay, make oh, a wait. sanity. Oh, <laughs> I didn't. No, like this is Diana's first time to see John Lee doing. Opening the door, <laughs> Don Lee. What I failed. Uh, that sanity you, roll. You failed. Okay. Uh, yeah. So Diana, he, you what? Just walk up to a door and. Yeah. Just open it. The yes. Door. Uh, yeah, there's like a, a residential door that you walk over and crack open. And here you feel like this has always happened and maybe you've never noticed it, but you can feel reality rearranging and placing a location in front of you. And as you open the door, it opens into a small apartment uh, it looks like uh, it fits the city, I would say, as uh, you see kind of this like Parisian look to it. 
but the languages you're starting to see on like calendars and little notes, it's not French, it's something else. And you see there is a woman there. She's in a uh, a kitchen. She looks like she's making some food. She set the table. And didn't you recognize uh, Cindy's outfit, the same one that was on the mannequin? But you so, can't see her face because it's been covered with a cloth, like a uh, kind of just a, a blank cloth with uh, some eye holes cut into it. And about half the face uh, area of this cloth is blood red, like soaked through about where Donnelly shot that man again. Mm, that's disturbing. Oh, you're, yeah, <laughs> roll sanity. Should I just okay. shut this door? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> 54, I failed. Okay. Uh, roll a d6. No! <laughs> because, yeah, you literally hear her say, Oh, Dad! Fuck! Uh, okay, I rolled a six. Can I cling to a bond? Yeah, sure. Can I spend from Cindy? Uh, Absolutely. That makes All sense right. to me. She's she was my highest. Oh, only one. Fuck. Okay. okay. So I take five. E. What would you say is the most likely reaction? Um, I uh, think that my paranoia is gonna like get to me, and I'm gonna blame uh Donley for killing Cindy. So I'm gonna just start just smashing his chest with my fists. Okay. You killed her. I, it wasn't me. I'm gonna shut that door. Yeah. <laughs> what's go what's going on here? I, I am punching yeah. Don Lee in the chest, trying to break his ribs. Okay, go ahead and uh, we'll do a little bit of a a combat then here. What did you do? I'm uh, gonna what are people's up. dexes? Yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, mine. mine's fifty. Uh, well, I mine's seventy. Forty. Fourteen. If. if... <laughs> Diana just wants to break this up. Hers is mm -hmm. 60. Okay. So uh Donley 70, 60, and then 50. So uh Donley, you will go first. I'm just um, gonna try to get a hold of him and, and... <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. Make a make a fighting brawl just to kind of chill him out a little bit. 33. Okay. Uh did, oh, oh my you like god, that's a crit. you can contest yeah. that yeah. if you if you think you'd fight. I'm gonna contest that. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll better than that. No, seventy-three. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> he he I, pins my ass. That's what it sounds God, like. It. Yeah, Dodley, how do you, how do you pin Dent? I'll just put him in a, you know, I guess a, a blood choke. choke. Get behind him. Yeah. 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 Hold him back. I, I, I'm struggling. Get a hold of yourself. Why? Okay. Okay. And I'll wh Damn, whenever I calm down. Gun. Yeah, it takes a while, but uh, eventually, yeah, you you have that calm down. Uh, Thirty three is enough, I'll say. He's he's got you pinned pretty yeah, this, pretty this good. True. We um, have to make this right. We have to we have to go. We have to go to the the palace. We have to find the author. We have to take his. Right. I mean, I tried. I thought this would work. Opening the door. It may still work, but. Okay. I don't know what nightmare is going to be behind it. It doesn't. It's either that or, you know, Whitward, do you have any idea how to get to the palace? Um, and he just kind of points. It's um that way. Well, well then, let's do it the old-fashioned oh, way. Yeah. All right. Sure. Let's just follow. You, you okay, Dan? Um, I don't know what happened there. Uh, <laughs> well, my my daughter might be dead, but like, let's let's not dwell oh. on that. Man. We can reset it all. If Wild could bring me back, we could. Yes, we could definitely reset. We can reset it. We have to. Right. Okay. You can fix it all. <laughs> bring to... it back. Fix everything. Okay. Yes. That sounds great. We're at, we're gonna make a world where none of this bullshit happen. Exactly like that focus and Whitwer if you're saying you're kind of following him he looks around a little and goes oh yeah it's 
actually pretty simple. Um, I think we'll just skip ahead, shall we? And he starts to walk, and I want all of you to make a sanity roll as well. As Donnelly, you had done this trick with the door, right? You'd rearranged reality and failed. Failed. Pedro. Beating nope. right now. It's a D4. Yeah. So oh, Donnelly, you yeah, you'd done this at a very localized fashion. For Din's losing his mind. Jesus. I, I'm I'm yeah, good. Great uh, I succeeded. You're good. Okay. Yep, <laughs> you're good. Yeah. And it is the city is rearranging itself and he is seeming to edit it almost. You don't even see like the thought cross his mind, but at one point you'll see like a military barricade set up and these like uh, soldiers there with guns and swords and the next moment he's basically kind of waved a hand and the road is open again so you're getting like these flashes of spots you could be but you're following in his wake and he is taking you you see towards this place on a hill this it, it, again it has this french thing and you can see uh there are all sorts of artillery holes and blasts just laid out. And he goes, we do have to pass through the, through the chateau. I'm sorry. I can't quite get us that far. In the Who battle. Are those soldiers. Yeah. The soldiers. <laughs> um, I believe they're, well, it's the soldiers of Thiel. Those of the black wind. Uh, you can what? see. And he uh, points, and you can see now this uh, strange blood red symbol, three curved lines that are just marked on a like uh, graffitied almost uh, around the place. A seal is being consumed, but it stands strong still. Although it is also destroyed, you just have to know how to approach it. So we have to bypass this like battlefield. Oh no, I'll get us to the chateau. Beyond okay. that though, the palace. That I can't change yet. So we'll kind of cut away as again like you guys are going towards this war-torn chateau. Um, I would like you to all roll alertness, though, as you're going. Failed. Nice. 19, pass. 19, all right. Passed uh, as well. Yeah, Donnelly, maybe that's... It's not too crazy for you. You're maybe focused on these weapons and distant gunfire you're hearing. Diana and Dent, you both recognize that this chateau has doors. They're kind of built into the side where you can almost not see them. But it looks like every wall and probably every room in this place has an exterior door. Interesting. And mm. we'll, yeah, we'll cut from that scene back to... Nancy, Voltus, and Liam. Uh, Liam has led you through these streets. They're, again, quiet. And every once in a while you see, like, movement, like someone just shut a window or something, but you're not seeing people on the street. And Liam is just talking a mile a minute of, uh, at first I got here, but uh, it actually is quite easy to learn Tartesian if you put your mind to it. Um uh, you you would love it here, Nancy. This place is absolutely amazing. They've given me an entire warehouse of things for my work, you know, that they have me do. And he goes over to a door and you can see it's like a, like a warehouse you might store food in by the docks or something. Uh, and he unlocks it. As they say, voila, 
<laughs> and he pulls the doors open. And rat's nest is maybe an unkind term, but it's fairly accurate. This place is packed to the walls with just garbage and a lot He's of like replicated garbage if that makes sense like oh here's a vase well there's that exact same vase again and again and again and you know tipped over a couple are broken oh, he's a what, is the, what is the work that you do here dad oh i uh well, i took over for ambrose you know i set the stage i set the stage it's all very exciting um oh you'll like this uh, come in come in you are the prop master. Ooh, I like that. Yes. Yes. Uh, it, it actually takes quite a bit of eye for detail uh, for these things. You see, um, most people can't do that, which is why they can't uh, they can't achieve as much as I have here. Um, if we look over here and he's like pushes aside a wall and you can see like a it's just like sheet metal he just kind of moves it to the side and there's a back room that is the exact duplicate of the warehouse that you started in in uh kansas or oh. sorry i already forgot which dusts the uh, warehouse oh Include, no yeah uh, ice ice, is ice warehouse. yeah yes and yeah, looking at it, what strikes you is that there's even blood stains. There's everything is exactly as you left it. Mm. Impressive, no? Yeah, it's very impressive. Very impressive. Just give me give me one moment. I'm gonna step through into the back into this back room. Okay. Yeah, of course. Mr. Barnes, um, oh, we actually, I actually have an engagement at the palace. Uh, do you know how oh. to get there from here? Oh, of course, it's uh, <laughs> it's no problem at all. I'll take you uh, right there. I'm I'm happy to. Um, Nancy, Nancy, don't go too far. Uh, just come along for a moment, Nancy. And he's rushing after you, Nancy. Mm -hmm. But you do get into a back room area, and what you notice and i'd like you to roll a sanity for it it's not too intense because maybe somewhere inside you you were expecting it there are rows and rows of mannequins that all look exactly like you um. some of them with bullet holes in like the chest the face the shoulder like they all have been shot to pieces and you're just looking around and you're seeing college, like your college dorm stuff. You're seeing stacks of papers that you wrote, plays you wrote. He has set aside. They're marked up exactly the same. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, I, I failed with the 57. Yeah, roll a, a D4. I'm sorry. I, I I wanted to prepare you for this, Nancy. I'm so sorry. Um, let me. And he starts to like vainly cover a couple no, of them with no. tarps. It's <laughs> my bottle already told me. Oh, I, I I'm sorry. I I just I saw an opportunity. I've been here before and I thought this time it could be different and every time I do it it turns out so wrong but I know if I just keep at it no. I can get it right there's only one way that this ends dad your bottle um my bottle your bottle I I don't need that. You're my bottle. <laughs> yeah, this is the whole reason I do any of this. Is I can change little things around the edges. You were supposed to die. They were gonna have another Delta Green agent. 
but I, I tweaked things and I got you where you needed to be. I made sure that other agent forgot uh, his appointment. The mail never got delivered. It's sneaky with wild. It's not too bad. Wild can get you a lot of places. If you're really, if you're really thinking about it, really think about but it with your bottle. You don't need wild. You don't need little tweaks. You can no. set it all to rights. <laughs> No, 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 no. You've always been a nervous man. And I know this about you. You've always been happy to observe and to flow. Reporter, painter, observational. But you could be so much more... You could stop chasing shadows, chasing tweaks. Things you keep trying to make work like clockwork when you can make them into anything that you wanted. Can you make an alertness roll? Uh, Voltus, you can do this as well. Mm, nope. Nope. 43. Ooh, 24. Damn it. I just don't have enough alert. <laughs> um, if your human's high enough, I'll uh, accept 40. that as well. Okay. My human, what is my human? My human is 50. Okay. Uh, so did you succeed as well, Nancy? With the uh, human instead? Uh, 43 is just. Okay. Yeah. In that case, you're still not quite seeing it, but Voltus, you're seeing Liam. And it's very faint, but like you can see he's mouthing along to what Nancy is saying. Like, like he's, a bad actor in a play. Who... No, more like he's heard it a million times. Uh, and yeah, uh. yeah. But yeah, kind of like a bad actor where it's like, I learned the lines and I'm going to repeat them while you're saying them. Right. Ricky and, Schroeder. Yeah, and Nancy, you're saying like uh, all this stuff. He's like, uh, it is very aspirational. I'll grant you that. But with you here, think about the good we can do. You're here. We can bring in your mom. We can start making other changes like that to make, to bring people here to live with us. It, and I know, I know the city. Zelda is never going to leave her flowers. She loves that house. I, I, we can remake the house. It, I, I haven't even started to focus on that yet. And it's how hard is a flower to make? It's, I, I've made so many things that you couldn't even believe is possible here. It's incredible. It's, you never, you won't want to leave. Trust me, you won't want to leave. And think about it like my entire life. Every moment, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. It here, you're free. The shoes have all dropped. You're, there's nothing wrong. You're at the center of it. You can like make little changes here and there, but that's elsewhere. Do you, you get what I mean? You know how this is going to end. <laughs> no. Actually, no. Nancy, he doesn't. He's hoping that it ends better than all the other times she's done it. He does kind of slouch when How he... many times have <laughs> yeah, we had Voltus this is... conversation? How many times has this Voltus been here? Oh, I'll I've admit... never been here before. I'll admit Voltus is another element I didn't anticipate. Um, but variability is the key to these things. Um, I don't know exactly how many times we've had this conversation. It changes every time. But you always leave me to go to the damn masquerade. And I just... Want you to stay here with me. 
Nancy, I'd stay here with him. I think he's contrived a, a bright, pleasant, happy place for you. Is it your intention, Boltus, hmm. to follow your bottle? Oh, I already knew everything that was in my bottle. Um, so am I really following it? It's It told me what I already was doing anyway. So if it spoke to me truth, it's a truth I was already aware of. So am I following my bottle? I'm not following it. I'm not following anything. But I think that we've realized you... that you're a prop in the story. And he made you. No, let's no, not no. focus on real... me for yeah. now. Boltus. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Please, you're not following anything? Nothing at all. You're driven I'm... by nothing. You're a man who wants nothing. You pursue nothing, and yet you are standing here. What That's is it that I you wanted... want? I just wanted to see what was going to happen. That's a want. You are following something. The desire to well, know. I am a researcher. I'm a researcher. But I don't intend to put the research together into anything. I just collecting it so you're a collector you're not a researcher then well admit your and just admit to yourself who you are nothing not simply an archive of nothing of course and yet i still archive i still research and yet you keep doing the things that you do why why, why is not? that why not I enjoy it. You enjoy it. It's pleasurable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I can jump in, I, it seems like we could have a place for you here, too. Oh, no. I, uh, I have to be to the palace. If you could point me in the right direction. What's I have so an important invitation. to you at the palace? Oh, ah, the invitation. So you are following something. Somebody invited you, and you come running like a dog. Well, it? I kind of asked for it, so. Oh, an invitation. And you'd see his eyes kind of go to it. Do you, you know, you have the outfit. Do you, do you want a mask? It is a masquerade. Yeah. I mean, what do you have to choose from? Something. <laughs> yes, Nancy, Nancy, stay right there. Don't, don't. Don't go anywhere. Um, I'm going to go find some uh, some mask options for you. Uh, one moment. And he scuttles off into a like a different aisle. You can hear him having to slide some things aside as he's going. Nancy, answer a question for me. Do you feel like you're real? Do you have independent thoughts? I'm sure I, my thoughts are as independent as yours, whatever the hell that means. Independent mm. of what? Well, then I would choose whatever pleasantness he has in prepared for you, because if you don't, he'll just make another you again. That's a, That sounds like a problem for the other me. Maybe. So if it, if for, there is for, for one who seems so undedicated to the idea of action, you sure seem eager to provide me with advice of what to do with uh, my own existence. It just looks like there's a lot of bullet holes in those other mannequins. So, and what makes you think that there are no mannequins of you anywhere with bullet holes in them? I haven't seen any. What is it that you think that Dent and Donnelly are going to do to you at the end of this all? Dent and Donnelly? I don't know. They seem pretty damn self-destructive. I'm not sure they're getting anywhere. Donley maybe maybe less than than Dent. But mm, their destruction goes far beyond the self variety. I think sure they will not survive this. Likely, I think Janine 
most definitely self-destructed. And now it's somebody named Diana. But they're all they're I the same person. Well, everybody you understand seems that, to, right? I mean, their bottles said were the same. It was one two bottle bottles together. Mm, Why that's, not that's just the thing, one? There's one. It's one. It's one bottle with two openings. That's different than two bottles. Oh, maybe. Anyways, I don't really have any connections to any of you other than what we've gone through. I'm not sure that's entirely true. Well, the only one that I'm closer to is Michael, but... Right, and you're here on the behest of whom? Oh, uh, Mr. Wild. Mr. Wild. Mr. Wild, Mr. Wild, Mr. Wild. You won't shut up about Mr. Wild. My dad won't shut up about Mr. Wild. Gray would never shut the fuck up about Mr. Wild. Do you really think, again, you mention independent thought, you mention nothing's driving you, but there's a, always Mr. Wild, always in the background. How independent really do you think that you are? Hmm? And you think, <laughs> because my dad assembled me perhaps, that I am a clockwork automaton on some kind of pre-programmed course of action and not you, oh, you of flesh? Hmm? If I am being sent. Uh, I might as well see where it goes. You might as well. And Polonius, Polonius, Polonius. <laughs> oh, hey, the attendant lord. An easy tool. Voltus, Nancy has been talking at you for a little bit, and like you're debating in a, a kind of a heated fashion. And you're seeing one of these just cardboard like banker boxes behind her mm -hmm. on a shelf. And you didn't notice it at first because this place is strange, but like out of the little flap, there's like a little yellow light that's growing and growing. And as, as Nancy is talking about uh, Polonius and, you know, do you have free will? You can see like it, she is backlit by this yellow light shining out of this banker box. I don't mean to interrupt you, but what is that? A light. That's for you to tell me, isn't it? Yeah, because Nancy, you see no light. <laughs> oh, you tell me what well, it is. I'll walk over to the banker box and open it. And inside, before we jump back to the others... There is carefully stacked, uh, kind of like you get with a banker box where the bottom's carefully stacked and the top mm -hmm. is just a shuffle. You see that there is just copies of Agent Voltus, your invitation, but they are made out to Nancy. And just oh. you can see on every single one of them, it's Nancy. You are invited to the masquerade at the palace in celebration of the new king. Come I'll to pick dine. one up. Come I'll look dance. at it. I'll uh, I'll say, "Oh, look," and I'll hand her one of them. All right, and let's uh, let's go out from that. As you are looking at just one of your invitations, as the group of Dent, Diana, Donley, and Whitwer arrive at this front of this chateau, you can see it is very clearly also been like bullet riddled. Uh, probably a stray martyr or two has hit it in the past. <laughs> um, do any of you have like military history? Uh, I want to say, Dent, you might have some. Uh, I don't have any military science nor yeah. history. I have okay. history. Okay. Yeah. Try 30. history. Yeah. 30 in history. Uh, okay. I roll that at a plus 20. Oh, okay. A 14. Okay, nice. Yeah, this place is you're looking around it and you're looking out onto the battlefield. This <laughs> definitely feels like a World War II era battlefield. And you're seeing like some of the shell casings and maybe a discarded rifle uh, inside the broken front door. This... Yeah, this is definitely World War II era. All right, now. Yeah. Kind of looked like a World War II era. Um, 
they busted in the door. The door's broken yeah. in. Yeah, it's kind of just like slowly moving. There's a little bit of a wind across the battlefield. Are there like active gunshots happening in this battlefield? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, and like the distant of mortars, but Jeez. yeah, you uh, feel like you've kind of avoided it with Whitwer there. Okay. Like you, you know, kind Whitworth's of been... tweaked reality to bring you to this place. Why do we have to go through here, Whitwer? How it is. You always have to go through the, the this place. It's you, Chateau. you go here and then yes, you find the, the, the a door. Palace. So we find a door maybe that takes us to the palace? Yes. All right. Well, I, you have well, to I find can understand that. I can get with that. All right. My gun's out. I'm covering you, Donnelly. You search for the door. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll um, let Whitward, I mean, if he seems to, is he going in? Yeah, he'll, he'll walk in the front door if you, like, don't yeah. stop him actively. He'll... No, he seems in. he's gotten us this far. So, <laughs> oh wait, so he's gonna find the door? I thought he said we should find the door. I mean, he's saying you should find the door, but he'll go inside the chateau. Like, yeah, he just kind of walks into it. Yeah, we can find the door. But... Uh, and okay. if you, yeah, if you follow him, you can see uh, entering there. It's kind of that like grand entryway with the stairwells that go out to the side uh, behind you there is that painting once more of the sheep in the city and uh, the sheep is holding a staff that's broken in its mouth and uh, it's quiet here but you can hear like the distant sound of someone shouting into a radio for reinforcements hmm. No India moon. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same voice. Oh great. Lavalis, right? Yeah. From my memory. Yeah, we don't have the Is radio. The, yeah, we don't hear do we hear the radio coming from the chateau? Yeah, Within it sounds doors? like it's like upstairs, maybe like the third oh, story or so. Then I'm yeah, gonna it's... make my way there. Yeah. Yeah. Gun drawn, ready. Oh, okay. Diana is looking at this weird pocket watch at her, <laughs> and her uh, wondering, looking at it, does draw her gun, but she's a bit distracted with these Melissa miscellaneous items she has in her pockets. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a machine um, gun. Diana, yeah, you're looking at this wristwatch. It's got one of those glass covers, right? Yeah, yeah these pocket watches. There's yeah. a strange red liquid that's moving and kind of breathing in your pocket watch as you're looking at it. Like it's, it kind of drains to nowhere, then builds up to nowhere, then back and forth. Mm, like she just closes it, uh, putting it in her pocket. Just gets her, she's, she gets her gun out and just mm -hmm. um, tries to catch up with the other two because she was distracted um, by that. Yes. Excellent. Yeah, you you kind of run up. You're going up these stairs. They're all kind of falling apart a little bit. Uh, this place looks like it had been abandoned for a while in the first place. And on the third story, you see there is a soldier there. He's got that radio set down in front of him. And he's shouting in it and you kind of catch that last bit of uh, my name is private Robin Avalis. Uh, uh, we need help. And Dent, you hear your own voice in the background saying, don't worry. Reinforcements are on the way. <laughs> We're That's here. Awesome. Well. <laughs> Jesus. We're here. <laughs> I told you reinforcements were on the way, kid. How'd you make past? How'd you make it past him? Past who? what? Past who? The, 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 the clown. Oh God! Let's not, let's not <laughs> I talk don't about the like clown. the clown. No, no, no. Let's not talk about the clown. Uh, what do you mean? Don't talk about the clown. I, 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 I saw it. 
What does he look like? It's in here. Uh, um, Lab he, you know, you're <laughs> kind of asking about him. Think about it. He kind of, he looks like Mark Rourke, like oh. his brother. Yeah, uh, which you'd kind of discovered in a way, but it's a little more stark. He's clean cut, uh, but with a little bit of stubble. Like maybe he missed a day or two. Um, maybe he's been entrenched here for a while. Uh, he's looking pretty panicked. And looking around the room as well, you're starting to see, like, maybe this used to be an old bedroom. There's more of these, like, crates lined up, some of which they've been popped open, and you can just see stacks of papers within. Oh. What yeah. do you what do you what do you mean? Don't talk about the clown. The it, it killed uh, all my all the other people there to here. Who's yeah. leading this army? What? Who's leading you? I, uh, uh, and he names a a historical figure who I don't know, but uh, yeah, he he names a general of some kind. Uh, yes, Let's we're we're kind of outside of Reims, is. Roughly he says, I oh, okay. Do you not know? Well, you're American, though. Damn straight, I am. <laughs> good, good. Yes, we we need all the help we can get. Um, God, God, okay. Okay, well, what do we do? Do we have? Do you have any extra guns or grenades or? What's in those crates over here? You can just yeah. start looking through the paper. Or yeah. whatever. looking for a machine gun. <laughs> Yeah, looking through the papers, Donley, you see that uh, the um, you've seen these before. In fact, in the missing room, these are the French files and German files and all these other translations yeah. of the King in Yellow and various other types of documents. Why would it? Why is there an army of fighting the king in yellow? And who's it's leading this? Who's what? Starting? No, we're fighting the Germans. This is World War II. You said a clown. Yeah, there's a giant clown downstairs that killed all my friends. One of the fucking Germans I I lived a it. giant clown. I don't know. <laughs> oh. He's losing. It might have been their secret weapon. <laughs> He he seems uh, flustered. I would say, um, he seems definitely like a, a Delta people. Green newbie would be yeah. reacting. Right? Is oh, oh my god! I can't believe I just saw that thing. It makes no sense. Well, try not to think so much about it. Um, <laughs> just, just <laughs> well, when did you last see it? <clears throat> just like a couple minutes ago. Well, we'll try and keep you safe, kid. Close the door. <laughs> Where's Whitward? Get in here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, he came in with you. How is Whitward looking like right now? Like, uh, uh, what's your human? Uh, her. Well, looking at my sheet. Yeah, seventy. Okay. Uh, that's more than enough to see. There is no emotion behind his eyes at this point. He seems cold towards this soldier who's panicking like there's a human response that you're having that he is not why are you trying to change this this happened before uh what were of course it's always happened why are you trying to change what happened how many times did this happen it's always happened. It always will happen. It pounding doesn't make sense. Well, what happens we, if we do change it? Yeah, you know, if we can change it. Do you think you can change it, or do you think you'll just die? I'm gonna die trying to change this. You would ignore a summons to try to change kind of gestures towards Labellus his role in this? Well, technically, I don't think we were ever invited. We yeah, never we received an to... invitation. Yeah, we don't have the golden ticket. Are you sure? 
Do yeah. I look in my pocket? And there's yeah, I'm looking through my pockets too. <laughs> oh, behind yeah. your ear. Yes. Oh, I have an invitation. <laughs> All right. I got roll sanity too. as yeah, you're you're looking at that. Yeah. <laughs> is it like is it Diana I, or I, uh, I, Gray? I, I pass. Uh, yeah, Diana, you have two. <laughs> <laughs> I, one I to each. Yeah. Okay. It's just one because okay. it's not the most bullshit you've ever seen. Right. I mean, I kind of expect this now um yeah oh, I, why do i have two invitations who's who's the other one maybe it's just a backup oh yeah <laughs> sure. it's okay <laughs> it's, she puts but... it in her pocket <clears throat> sure. yes so is this guy killed by a clown because if he is i don't want to stick around hmm i don't know he's killed by a clown or by a gunshot, or by sickness, or he falls out a door. There's or, so many options. Or we of take how him with he us. can exit the stage. Oh no, we're we're you know we're on this we're in this you know we're dancing on this stage. We can do whatever we want to. Let's uh. Oh, we're taking Levelus. Let's take him with us. Okay, sure. Through this. Um, yeah, right. Take arm up. Get your gun. Let's go. I'm looking for a door. Oh, there's the one we literally in, yeah. literally in every room. There yep. are doors on every wall, uh, including exterior walls. So, yep. yeah, nice. take your pick. Including the the third floor wall with the window. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 There's can... doors on the exterior. So yeah, if one of you opens okay. the door, it's you look down and go, huh? That's a uh, that's an interesting drop. All right, kid. yeah. Let's not take let's not take that door. <laughs> Watch this. Okay, we'll get away from the clown. I pass my sanity. Okay, yeah, that's just zero. Yes, that's good. Just run, just run. Okay, and he's like he's gearing up. He grabs the radio, his gun checks the ammo and he's like i don't have a lot i'm sorry i don't have a lot left he's got a machine gun right uh yeah something of that equivalent of the the era <laughs> shotgun <laughs> if you want to if you want to take it he'll just be like it didn't okay. help me before well it might help in another circumstance i'm, I'm assuming this is like a submachine gun like a thompson uh probably it... okay. I, I don't know quite what they'd have at that time all right, uh, just don't big machine gun or small machine gun? Uh, we'll say small machine All gun. right, so it's probably Thompson. Yeah. I'll, so I'll grab that. I'll hand him nothing Wait, in return. Remind me, what's his name again? Uh, Labulous? Labulous, yeah. Yeah, yeah um, a uh, Labulous. Uh, it's just memory's kind of a little foggy. Have you seen any gassed uh, men with gas masks lately? Um, just, just curious. And he looks at Dent and Donley. Is this a is this a test? I uh, don't mind her. Don't mind. I, yeah. Here, I'm gonna pass him my shotgun and what shells I may have. And <sighs> thanks. Uh, then I'll pass you my shotgun and what shells I may have to you, Donley. <laughs> <laughs> is there any extra guns, or she's stuck with a pistol? <laughs> She's still trying to get sense of what's going yeah, on. Yeah, no, you have a Gray's pistol, so oh, it's probably yeah. not the same same exact one you had. But yeah, nah, no. Nah. Oh, she'll have the handgun. That's fine. They, they, the guys got the big guns. If you want That's to fine. have two handguns, I can give you my handgun. Yeah, we always have a backup. I have a backup. You guys are yeah, Americans, sure. thank God. <laughs> <laughs> guns all over us. <laughs> two handguns. You know, all right. But I'm going for the. Yeah, I've got another Glock. I'll just, you know, my backup. So I'm just going to go to that door. And um, like I said, I, I think yeah. I need to the palace. Roll sanity. I, I passed. Okay, you open it. And uh, <gasps> you think you did an exterior or interior door. Which uh, which well, floor is I about? Hate, I hate, well, I, I exterior. I mean, what the hell? I know what. Okay. I'm going through. I'm going through the chateau to get to the palace. Yes, you uh, you open the door and uh, immediately you see it is um, just a 
exterior door like normal. And what you see there is you pull back the door and it looks like there was a woman on the other side that was holding the doorknob and you opening it like you pulled the door in. She lost her grip and she falls backwards off this tower. Make a sanity uh, check as you watch her fall and crack her head open on the ground below. That I didn't pass. Just a d4. All right. You will note as you look out that there is no evidence of fighting. This looks like the French countryside at the moment. Um, Whitward, did, did this did this look right? Huh. Yeah, it's this is what needed to happen. It's what uh, this Castain always wondered how she met her end. Huh. I don't know. Try again. All right, close it. And then... Yeah. Um. <laughs> try it again. <laughs> okay. Roll sanity. That's a fail. It's a 71. Okay. You open it and you I got see. got the machine gun ready. <laughs> that, that's smart. Yeah. You see these cobblestones and a quiet street on the other side. And didn't you have the highest alertness, I think? I'm at about 55. Yeah, oh, okay. I yeah, what is fifty six? I, I got oh, I got six. I, I got yeah, sixty. I improved it. Okay. Uh, in go. that case, uh, Diana, <laughs> roll alertness, please. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, that's a ninety. <laughs> nope. Nope. That's a fail. Okay. It registers in your mind a second ago. You heard a click, and maybe the woman's scream had like kind of caught your attention mm -hmm. and there is a moment of oh no and you look back to see private labelis standing stock still the clown has its hand right over his face like this and roll helplessness as it just touches Labelis and he okay. explodes in a mist of this thick red patsu. Oh, I, I failed oh, that. It. Uh, Sandy, I failed. <laughs> Poor Sand. Okay, yeah. Roll okay. a d6. That makes sense. Alright. I rolled a 6. I'm gonna spend a bond. So... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you're full up on willpower again. You're feeling great. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. I'm not okay, suggesting just... everybody else try that at home. So three. <laughs> so um, all right. So I might lose three. I guess to my other partner that my husband doesn't know about. That's fine. So. Yep. And if you succeeded, the helplessness is just one. Mm hmm. Uh, but you do have mm -hmm. his machine gun now, so you feel better about that. <laughs> and you do. Oh, let's see. Yeah, you'll see this. You'll notice that those papers there, as the splash that was Labellus hits the papers, it seems like they're soaking it up. And I mean, the clown is licking its fingers. What do you three do? Flip it off uh, and run through the door. We're <laughs> running. <laughs> <laughs> Grab his machine gun and run the post. I've already got his machine gun. Yeah, oh, you, you got, got it? Okay, that, got was, that was like step one. All right, guys. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> you upgrade. All right, you run off down the streets as this thing seems to be preoccupied with what was left of Labellus. We will cut back to Nancy and Voltus. Voltus, you just showed Nancy an invitation. Her invitation. Hmm. Are you a mail carrier now? <laughs> Alas, right, there we go. Um, nope. See, you have an invitation too. 
In fact, you've got one for every iteration of yourself. Uh, your dad doesn't want you to go. Hmm. You really are so wise. I don't I know never would have figured that so, out on my own. I don't know why you're so interested in me. I mean, what do you care what I do? I'm just going to follow what I want to do. Same as I've always done. Mm, but that just assumes that you are in control of your wants. How could I know one way or the other? So I'm just going to do what I want to do. One of us might be clockwork, but the other one certainly has more strings attached. Mm -hmm. I believe in... I believe that the dance is governed by Brownian motion and the uh, Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Oh, is that how you would explain <laughs> this wonderful place that we're in? Well, I wouldn't even we'll try. Say, yeah, that's about the time. Oh, Heisenberg. I love that show. Um, Liam pulls out with, uh, and you see he has a number of masks there hmm. uh, in his in his hands. Uh Yes. Uh, what do you want? Uh, I have horse. I have mosquito. I have. Uh, what is this? Uh, uh, I think it's a minotaur. Yeah, it's a minotaur. You can see the the thing. Uh, I have a frog. I have a hog, and he's just starting to name these off and trails off when he sees Nancy that you have uh, an invitation. I'm gonna pick up the frog because it matches it my. Yeah, outfit good, somewhat. Good choice. <laughs> you you found those, huh? Yeah. That makes sense. I should have should have checked you out. He's wagging his finger at you, Voltus. Oh, it was an accident. <laughs> it was no, it wasn't. Oh. Everybody that has seen the king get such the goddamn gifts. I never plan for the goddamn gifts. <sighs> You're always finding stuff, aren't you? Me? All the time. That makes sense. I, I, I'm sorry, Nancy. I... I You are probably supposed to go. Probably. Probably. <laughs> and he, like, you see him again do this, like, deflating sort of thing. Yeah. You're supposed to go. But this time you could come back. This time, you know, if you try, maybe you could come back. Look, Dad, I think you've hidden yourself here for long enough. I think it's time for your bottle. Make a persuade check at a plus 20, because you um, are, after all, in theory, his flesh and blood. In theory. Oh, seven. Or 70, so not that that, it's not doubles, so oh seven. Yeah, and he's looking around and yeah no, that's you're right you're right I, I keep making all the sets and I could just let's go to the masquerade yeah, why not, right? I'm sure I have an invitation or I just make one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let us go. You could be Nancy's plus one. <laughs> there are no plus ones at the masquerade. You either have an invitation or you do not. Um, Nancy, do you want an outfit for this? I would hate to go uh, and this to such yes. a grand occasion. <laughs> okay. Um, Excellent. Uh, let me see what I have. Uh, and he 
does go out and he comes back with a uh like just pushing uh one of those dress forms and you can see he has a uh, a robe made of what looks to be woven metal and gears and all these uh sort of gear punky t or steampunky type look to it as he stops it in front of you huh this will do just fine thank you Oh, in uh, your mask. Yes. What about my mask? Oh, what What do you want to wear? How about? A crescent moon. Oh, I like that. Yes. Um, let me see. Uh, and he does find a mask for you, but it's not just a mask. What he shows to you is a, it's very clearly clockwork. You'd wear it, but you see the moon on it actually changing through the phases and then back around and this like you can hear the tick of clockwork in it but it there's no way it could possibly work but it does and it that's does. what makes it beautiful thank you uh, isn't that funny i haven't a thing to wear i suppose do you I don't think Ab Abigail wouldn't kick me out. Do you? You don't think? Would she? Mm. Abby is temperamental sometimes. Oh, is that? What I'm you're sure wearing? you have something to wear. Uh, let me let me go look. And he goes, uh, kind of deeper in, and uh, comes out wearing a suit outfit kind of just like a kind of a classic tuxedo but it looks moth worn and rough this is this is the best i've got i think well the best you got is what is expected so. all right shall we right. away yes oh this is wonderful this is i'm actually feeling excited about this for once <laughs> um Oh, I suppose we need to get there. Um, it depends. The two of you, how how would you like to get there? What's the we quickest could, way? Well, we could ride my orrery. Orrery? I can never say that word right. Yeah, um, orrery, that's... Okay, oh, good. I'm glad I got it right. It's, uh, yes, we could ride that. Um, do you get motion sick? Not particularly. Not easily. Oh. I used to, but I spent a few good decades at a car recently. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh yes. Um we could do well, we could also just go out that door too. It's kind of up to you. No, I mean that the door is right here. I'll, I'll walk over to the door and open it and take a look. Mm -hmm. uh, opening it there, you you went into Ethel, the city, and it was quiet, you thought at the time, right? Not much going on, maybe occasional gunfire. This place kind of has like a gray tone to it. This feels dead but you still see like little movements here, but the overwhelming sensation is gray and death. And you can see in the distance, there's just the palace standing there. What shall it be, Voltus? The orrery or we walk? Well, your father seems to love the mechanical stuff. Um, let's, why don't we use the orrery? This looks kind <laughs> of dull. Oh, 
this is wonderful. Okay. And he uh, pulls you kind of off to the side. And um, okay, here we go. This is, ugh, pulls down a tarp, the Ori. And it is absolutely a merry-go-round with wooden horses all around it. Uh, and you can see there's uh, there's some other animals, like some fish and dogs are there. They all have saddles. And the center has just gears and pipe valves and all sorts of things. Huh? I will get on one of the fish. Yes. Oh, goggles, goggles. It's safer. Um, okay. Yes, safer. Okay. Um, wonderful. Uh, I'll stand in the center here and click, click. And you notice that you just kind of have a horse to sit on and like the, the pole to grab. Uh -huh. He looks like he's strapping in. Um, mm -hmm. And he puts on a helmet and goggles and goes, okay, <laughs> just um, good luck. And he starts to yeah it's it's almost Willy Wonka-esque as he starts pulling these gears and you start to spin and the warehouse kind of does that bit where it starts to blur more and more and I'd like you to roll sanity as you are realizing that this thing is just a death trap like you're probably holding on and watching a, like a, a screw just go work itself out and go Pweep! and fly yeah. off a wall. 46 is a failure. <laughs> okay, it's a D4. I, I still passed. Okay. I'm holding on for dear life. Okay. Excellent. Yes, you are. And Nancy, you feel so sick. And by the time that this orrery slows down and stops. You feel, uh, Nancy, since you failed, you feel like you're still going. You're like, you feel incredibly nauseous. And Voltus, you can just kind of look over and there's the door that you had open before. Nancy, what are you doing as you're Falling off the horse, getting off the horse. What are you doing? Yeah, off the fish. Yeah. Uh, I think maybe we should walk. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes. Good idea. He's unhooking himself. Coming back. Like that so, was um, that was thrilling. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, it's like going back to the old fairs with my daughter again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly oh. <laughs> yeah and you say walk it's gonna be a few minutes so it's at that point that these other four meet up with you Nancy is hurling onto the streets and you can yep build this hey uh hello um I how have you been? <laughs> oh, he makes small talk now. That's interesting. We got a job to do. Yeah. A job. Uh, or what sort of job? Uh, what is that job again? He's just looking we get to the problem. palace. Got to get to the masquerade. Yeah. Yep. Oh, right. Do you have, right. you have your costumes, you your mask dance? yet? And look for the girl I'm, in I'm, blue. I'm a frog. We don't have uh, our masks or costumes. We'll have to pick something up on the way. Yeah, and you see uh, Liam is pulling off his goggles. Oh, that's probably fine. It's more, I don't know if you guys would, you're not going to fit in no matter what, so why fight it? You know? Right. We okay. have our invitations. Exactly. Yeah, oh, I, you I do. have two. Lucky you. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, uh, right this way then. Let's uh, let's go towards the and Whitworth just brushes past him and starts to walk towards the palace. Oh, <laughs> guess we'll follow. 
He's in a rush. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on what more. <laughs> I'm a hey, Michael. Person. I'll try to you... catch up to Michael. Yeah. Mm hmm. Make it a, uh, you're, you're not good at alertness, but you know Michael pretty well. He seems taller somehow. Hmm. Maybe, you know, like half a foot. And he's holding himself differently. He always seemed a little worried. But here he seems kind of regal. Confident. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Michael. Going through a growth spurt, I see. But he looks at you. And... What's concerning is that his teeth move, but his mouth doesn't. It's like they're moving behind this. The new king has come. Come to dance. Come. And he moves on. Is he moving too fast for me to keep up? No. He's taking very deliberate strides. He is neither running nor jogging. He's just walking. Okay. I will stay just a step behind and to the side. Mm -hmm. In that case... Uh, what about the others? Are you following along? Yeah, I'm following. Yeah, I mean, this is yeah, yeah. Wait, my my father is elderly. I'm kind of walking arm in arm with him. So yeah. he's he's elderly and behind. slow. Yeah, you're nauseous and slow. Mm -hmm. So to your powers combined, you're keeping up at least. And Diana's just checking the yeah. time, if there is a time, on her blood watch. I seriously doubt so. Yeah, it looks like it's about an hour to midnight. And it keeps... Hot, like, the, the hand is just stuck there. Like, it wants to move, but can't quite. Okay. And, yeah, as you approach the palace, finally, you realize you it was very easy to get to. You were almost there the whole time. There is a line out the palace doors, these kind of grand doors that are split up. You see a couple of uh, golden lion masked guards that are out front that are, uh, it looks like, letting someone in one at a time sort of thing, like they're looking down the list for them or getting an invitation. And there is a line of people out the door. They all seem different and they're all dressed kind of in that French sort of style, uh, more like poofy kind of things, but there's a lot of like modern haircuts and uh, eyewear that's very clearly not of that time period. Um, but they all have this same like kind of sickly look to them. Sickly in a way that they've been taking a lot of, I don't know, drugs by any chance? Kind of, yeah. They have been both, yeah. Have they? Oh. Mm. They, yeah. But they're like the line moves a little. But you're thinking like there's probably like 50, 60 people in this line. Screw this. I'm walking past these. I'm yeah, go also through. walking past. I'm yeah. okay. Not waiting in a line. Very good. <laughs> Agent Donnelly. You are partway through the line and you recognize your grandfather standing there. Can't be real. How does he look? Is he just as messed up he, as the rest? Yeah, he's got very... Like he, I mean, he was almost a hundred, so he was already looking kind of shrunken, but it's even worse. He's got a stoop and a cane, which he'd always kind of said he didn't need. Uh, and 
you can see is like clearing. He's missing teeth in there. Does he recognize me? There's a there's a sort of dim look of recognition like through kind of eyes that are not quite cutting it. But he he doesn't like try and get your attention or anything. He's just waiting. I'll put my hand on his shoulder and you know, we're going to fix this. We're going to, we're going to set it right. Yeah. Yeah. Are you my son? No, but you'll know me. Oh, I'm waiting for my son. Just keep waiting. We'll, we're going to fix this. Okay. No. Yeah, it... yeah, just keep walking with the rest. Very nice. And then you get up to the front. You all have <clears throat> invitations. Uh, it appears Whitwer is not even checked. He just walks ahead of you. The guards kind of give you the, like, hold up. Hold out their hands. Yeah. I'll uh, just hold up my invitation. invitation. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wait, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Diana has two or gets the one that that's yeah, to her. Gets, gets the one. Yeah. Um, and they make a motion because they see Dent. They see your weapons. And they gesture off to the side. They have like little uh crates uh sort of thing where um you'd put like you can see weaponry there like crossbows <laughs> even like it's kind of ridiculous you're seeing all these different eras of uh stuff just kind of pushed off to the side all right i'm gonna give them the uh wait one second motion and i'm gonna walk out i'm gonna save Donnie with yeah. me diana with me are you rushing this? Are I'm we... not going to rush this. I'm going to play it nice and slow. All Actually, right. I got a friend to call. And I am F... going to try and contact the demon. Oh. F... What? Um... <laughs> Just chill. Um... He, he does this. Balam. <laughs> okay. Balam. Sure. Because he can make men invisible. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So I will... Con try and contact this demon. All right. Uh, roll sanity. <laughs> uh, 16. I'm passed. Okay. Before you always kind of had this vision, right? Like you mm -hmm. pop in. In this one, you are. Well, it's interesting. You're in a marketplace. Um, the language is, you think, somewhere in the Middle East. Okay. And you see a uh, a man just sitting, sipping coffee. Uh, he's wearing, like, a nice silk suit and sunglasses. He's got a little, like, headset on. It looks like he's talking to someone. But he looks up and sees you. Oh, um, sorry, please. Come, come here, come here, come here. I'll sit down for some drinks. Oh, there's... I'll ask uh, for his favor. I, I'm so I'm so sorry, Your Highness. There's no time for that. Um, yes, oh. uh, let me give you... And you'd see he pulls out a piece of paper. The words, the words. Uh, and he writes out a piece of paper. Okay. Uh, with the words. Um, okay, there you go. Uh, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't realize you'd need me so, uh, so suddenly. Um, he seems... Uh, very deferential to you. Good. This will come in use. Mm. Yes. Um, it doesn't... It doesn't work on machines. Okay. Are the guards machines? Are you uh, asking, is it the GM? No, yes. they're not machines. They okay. do appear to be human. Okay, so I can use this. I, I'm assuming I'm gonna enunciate these words, and then hopefully allow Donnie, yes. Diana, and I to go through. 
yes, don't lose the paper. And you're back in line. Okay. Okay. Um, Are you so we'll go around the corner. I'm okay. saying this is gonna get us through. This is our ticket. I'm just gonna recite the words. Make it happen. Uh, okay. I want you um, to yeah. I want you to I'm make trying a, to catch up. Yeah, all three of you make a sanity roll. Woo! Oh we I failed. I failed. I failed. Uh, I failed. Okay. Uh, roll a d6. Oh, I'm latching onto a Vaughn for sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. My daughter. I'm doing this for her. I got okay. two. Uh, I got two. Four. Okay. Nice. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna latch onto a Vaughn for this. Okay. Um, and oh, Din, that's... I'm gonna handle this with a pow roll. I want you pow to make roll. a pow roll for me. Of course. Uh! Uh, 44. Holy shit. Ooh, that's Ooh, nice. good. Because you know, as you're reading these out, you're like, yes, it renders the wearer invisible or the reader invisible. And you tweak, you realize, ah, oh, this, this isn't quite as useful as I want it to be. I'm just going to change something. <laughs> and you make it so that those who hear the demon's words can also become invisible. And I want you to roll another D4 of sanity. Okay. As you are changing the Reality? rules of demonology. I am the writer. I rolled a four. This is awful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm latching on to Cindy again. Yes. <laughs> okay. And then the last D6 you need. Holy uh, shit. One more D6. I rolled a four. Okay. That is how many oh, minutes it will last. No. Okay. All right, let's go. Yeah, we okay. gotta go. Uh, Nancy and Voltus, do you unequip your gear and a shotgun? Shotgun. I mean, we oh, don't need I, it here, so of course. I, I didn't think I had any of that stuff anymore. <laughs> Missile launcher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If, um, yeah. If, if I if I have weapons on me, I will happily yeah. relinquish them. I don't need them here. I'm a goddamn uh, American. They'll never take my guns away. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll also just in sort of a weird uh, impatience, I'm going to hold my invitation closer to his face yeah. and go, you know, let me in. <laughs> mm. uh, and the guard speaks for the first time and they're speaking a language that you don't immediately clock. It sounds kind of Turkish, kind of Russian, mm. but not quite. There's a little French in there too. It's uh, it's interesting. He said something about Tunisian or something. Uh, like Tartes, that, yeah, yeah, Tartesian, Tartesian is kind of the feeling you're getting. Um, but the name Abigail does stand out uh, as he says uh, something along the lines that you think maybe is like ah, uh. uh an invitation from Abigail and he gestures behind um, and he uh, he kind of recognizes that look of not understanding on your face and uh, a very broken English um, cat mask uh, by throne blue dress thank you very good. They let you three in. The others, uh, Tom Clancy in, I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we just Ghost Recon stuff. I guess we're invisible, right? Uh, yeah. I can't see Donley. Yeah. Oh. Just Holy put our... shit, the steaming shit works. Well, oh, we, we could have used this <laughs> a few times. <laughs> uh, okay. Thanks. Yeah. And we will Grant Diana and help her up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Diana is just For like through. bombarding with a lot of things and trying to process everything at once. She's like, okay, yeah. it's okay. Yeah, it's like if you okay. were in a dream and then someone's like, no, that dream is real and we got to keep working on it. Is It's a lot. That and I got yeah. weird power, so it's cool. <laughs> I guess, sure, that's fine. Uh, I'll go with it. <laughs> All right. In that case, we will leave tonight as the
the group one after the other. Uh, finally, uh, Donley will say you are somewhere in the last few, bringing in your bottles to the masquerade. Yes. And Diana's watch starts to tick once more. Mm. Our players included Morgan Llewellyn, Alex Sun, Nell Hippel, Thomas Grooms, and myself with Nathan Decker as the handler. We have a Discord server where you can chat with other members. You can set up private games and learn the finer arts of gameplay and game mastering. We provide audio-only versions of our shows free for you to download from Spotify, Podbean, or iTunes. Support for the show is provided by our patrons who are listed in the closing credits. If you'd like to join them, please visit our Patreon page listed in the description, or you can use Super Thanks by hitting the button just below the screen. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel and punch the bell icon for updates on our latest shows, and leave us some comments. We enjoy reading them and answer any questions you might have. This is Tom Rayleigh, together with all the members of our gaming club, inviting you to journey with us once again into the darkness for another adventure into the universe of H.P. Lovecraft and the Delta Green role-playing game. Until next time, good luck, good gaming. Mm -hmm.